Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the Yuma Show and today we are back with the latest LEGO news for 2024. Now of course, before we begin the video, I just want to say that if you do enjoy and want to keep up to date with all of the latest LEGO news from me, then make sure to subscribe as well as like the video and turn on notifications as well as follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server. Links will be down in the description below. But with that being said everyone, let's get right into it. Now first off, I want to start by talking about the upcoming LEGO Dungeons and Dragons set because we do have a slight update regarding that so the set will be officially called set 21348 the red dragon's tail and will be revealed on the 19th of march so that is in four days at the time i'm recording this video the set includes six minifigures and three skeletons and alongside this set will be a gift with purchase releasing which is the image that is shown on the screen right now uh, now this gift of purchase is only available if you buy the dungeons and dragons set from april 1st and it is available until the stock does end up running out so it is while stocks last. Overall, I think the giveaway purchase looks pretty good. I think a lot of Dungeons and Dragons fans will definitely appreciate this one. However, I don't think it's the end of the world if you can't get it, honestly. I don't think it comes with any minifigures. It doesn't look like it does from this image, even though it is quite blurry. So there isn't really too much you're missing out on there, in my opinion. And you probably build that uh, model yourself as well. Uh, I don't think they use any exclusive pieces and such. Allegro did actually tease the Dungeons and Dragons lineup on their site they do actually have a countdown timer as well as an outline of four of the dungeons and dragons minifigures on the bottom and then we do actually have a bit of an update regarding set 10341 which is the artemis one rocket and launch pad this will retail for 260 dollars where it will include 3601 pieces releasing for may 15th pretty excited for this one the price to piece ratio is looking pretty good on this over 3000 pieces for $260 is a pretty good value and as it is releasing May 15th we should be seeing the images release of this very soon. I also want to quickly talk about LEGO Star Wars because we are supposed to actually be seeing some LEGO Star Wars leaks and also the uh, summer sets revealed by April 1st so make sure you stay tuned for that because next week is going to be crazy for LEGO Star Wars leaks and then we do also have an update regarding set 31213 the Milky Way Galaxy set this is going to retail for $200 with 3091 pieces releasing for also May 15th the set will be similar to the Spider-Man art set uh, so it will end up be, uh, using a mix of bricks plates as well as studs uh, to create the display uh, pretty excited for this one as well can't wait to see how lego do got about doing it um, i assume that we will be seeing a lot of stars and such uh, and i can't wait to see the build that they actually use for those but i think this could actually turn out to be a really really nice looking set or it's gonna look really bad it's gonna be either one of them hopefully it's gonna look really good the amazing spider-man art set looked amazing so i have no doubt that the designers will probably do a pretty good job in that one as well and then we do actually have a brand new lego technic set releasing which is going to be set 42177 the mercedes g500 4x4 this will include 2891 pieces retailing for 250 dollars the set will release for august 1st of 2024 again pretty excited for this one as well um i don't know what the color scheme of the vehicle is going to be uh but i think that it's a pretty nice vehicle to be made as a lego technic set um and also it is a pretty big model as well so it will have a lot of details to it and then we did actually get a better look thanks to promo bricks at the brand new lego gift of purchase set being set 40683 the uh, flower trellis display this will uh, be recommended for ages 12 and over and will be releasing very soon i think this one looks quite nice honestly i do really like the builds for the flowers there uh, even though it is a gift with purchase i think that the flowers are exceptionally detailed and it also does have a lot of nice uh, details and such on there as well and they actually look pretty accurate as well these flowers so i do really like that these would go really nicely along the botanical sets that lego released for the icons lineup uh, but overall i think this is actually a pretty strong gift the purchase there especially comparing it to a few of the other ones that we've had recently this is definitely one of the better ones and then we do also have some brand new lego screenshots from the brand new lego ninjago uh, dragons rising season two um and i'm going to put these on the screen and the reason why i'm showing these is because a lot of the minifigures that you'll see in these images we should be seeing these as physical minifigures for the summer wave of lego ninjago sets so definitely excited for that but there are some really nice and detailed minifigures that you'll see from these screenshots and stills from the new series 
I uh, really like this minifigure here as well. That looks great. Um, and then we do also have a brand new Lego Ninjago magazine, which does come with a Kai minifigure uh, in his red armor. That looks quite nice. Uh, you do get the golden swords alongside it as well. Um, and overall, I think this is a pretty nice looking minifigure, especially uh, with the leg printing and such featured on it as well. And I think the fact that it is in a magazine is a pretty nice, easy, cheap way to get a really good and detailed looking minifigure. And then we do also have a brand new Lego Ninjago book, uh, which is based off Ninjago uh, Dragons Rising. This in does uh, include a minifigure, which is the uh, Master Lloyd figure. And this is going to include six pieces, of course, uh, recommended for age six and over as well. Uh, this looks like a pretty good book overall. And then we do also have a brand new Lego Dreams book as well that's been revealed. Um, and this one includes eight pieces recommended for ages six and over. Those eight pieces are used for the Matteo minifigure and the Z Blob uh, sword that are included. And then Lego did finally officially reveal the new Peppa Pig sets with the first one being set 10433, Peppa Pig's Birthday House. Of course, all of these sets will be Lego Duplo. It definitely does make sense because it is Peppa Pig. Uh, these, you know, a lot of two-year-olds watch the show, so obviously they're not going to make proper sets, um, like four plus ones as well. Uh, but overall, you know, it's fine uh, for what it is. Uh, I think that a lot of kids will actually enjoy this. I think that the Peppa Pig theme is actually going to sell out pretty well. And I do quite like the uh, the uh, figures as well. I really love the molded headpieces that they've given them all. Uh, I actually think they look pretty good. Um, and I think that they've actually given a lot of attention to detail on those. The rest of the minifigures aren't that great, I will uh, say, from the uh, torso and below. Uh, but then we do also have set 10431, Peppa Pig, Garden and Treehouse. Uh, this one does include, of course, Peppa Pig as well. Um, I do really like this one. And then you also get George. Um, it just sort of, it's just recalling to me now when I used to watch Peppa Pig when I was really young. Uh, I definitely remember a lot of the scenes from the treehouse. So it's nice that Lego made this as a, a set. I think it definitely does deserve its own set. Quite weird as well how the flowers printed on those big bricks. It just looks really odd in my opinion. Uh, but here is the back of the box. So it just shows a few kids playing with the set. Um, and just showing, uh, showing a few of the uh, functionalities of the model as well. And then we do also have a lifestyle picture as well of the set there. Uh, but yeah, you know, it, it looks fine. Um, it is a Duplo set after all. Um, anyways, moving on to the next set uh, that we do have for the Peppa Pig lineup is actually going to be uh, this set right here, which is set 10432, the Peppa Pig Boat Trip. So this one includes Peppa Pig in a swimsuit. Uh, and then you do also get Grandpa Pig as well, who actually looks pretty good, I won't lie. Uh, that's the first time we're seeing him in particular because the teaser did just show Peppa Pig george mummy pig as well as daddy pig but i think that grandpa pig actually looks quite nice there um and then the peppa pig as well in the swimsuit looks pretty good i don't get it because the peppa pig in the swimsuit has sort of dual molded legs it looks like either way she has the pink feet which she should have i believe on like the actual other normal dresses that they have on so you know i don't know they, they've given them plain red legs and plain blue legs for george for example for the regular minifigures of them in the casual outfits but then this one has got uh, dual molded uh, legs. So that that doesn't make sense, if you get what I mean there. Uh, a bit weird. Uh, but yeah, you know, the bolt's fine. And then we do also have this set right here, which is set 10434, the Peppa Pig Supermarket. And this actually includes the whole main family. So you get Peppa Pig, George, Mummy Pig, and Daddy Pig. Quite odd that they put the whole family in the supermarket set. I thought that they would have all been in the house because you know that is sort of the main building of peppa pig uh that is where most of the episodes do take place of course uh but you know i do quite like the supermarket obviously that is a pretty um important building in the show as well um i don't know why did they they didn't include miss rabbit because you know she kind of runs the supermarket but yeah uh, and then the card was look quite nice as well i do actually like the way that looks uh, it looks like he's using one massive piece there, uh, which looks great. And then he does also have some prints on those because the Duplo sets, of course, don't include stickers. And then we do actually have an update regarding LEGO Gabby's Dollhouse for summer of 2024. We've got the list of sets that we will be getting with the first one being set 10795, Crafting with Baby Box. This includes 60 pieces, retailing for $15. Next up, we have set 10796, Gabby's Cat. Uh, ear kindergarten which includes 165 pieces for 40 dollars and then lastly we have set 10797 gabby's party room which includes 252 pieces retailing for 50 dollars
And for those of you who are wondering, this is a 4 plus theme and does include mini dolls. Anyways, moving on, we do actually have some Lego Ideas news because we actually have a look at two new Lego Ideas uh, future gift purchases that did actually win the Exploring the Cosmos contest on Lego Ideas. So this is the first one and it looks very similar to the Land Speeder set that we saw from Solo, A Star Wars Story uh, when that film did initially release. But overall, I do quite like this one. It looks very futuristic and I love the sign as well. Um, and I also love the angle that the speeder has been posed on. And you do get two minifigures as well, which both look great. And I also really love the light blue color scheme that they've given the uh, land speeder as well. I think that looks great. And also it's really nice how they've put it on a base, which has a black outline to sort of represent a diorama style of set. And then this is the other one, which doesn't look as good in my opinion, but I still quite like it. I think it is a pretty nice one, uh, sort of representing some sort of uh, space train. Uh, you do actually get the train track as well, or the roller coaster track, I should say. Um, I think that looks quite good. Um, and then you do also get a little station that does go over the track as well. So that is really nice there. Uh, but overall, this is a really nice one as well. I just think that the other one just looks a little bit better. Yeah, but that is just my own personal preference. But these should be releasing for some time in 2025 so we do have quite a while for these sets to come out yet but i think that these will be very popular ones i can see a lot of people really liking these so definitely can't wait to see what lego do with those and when they do release them but there we go everyone with that being said this is the end of the video if you enjoyed then why not subscribe as well as like the video and turn on notifications as well as follow me on instagram and join my discord server links will be down in the description below let me know down in the comments below what you think about all of the latest lego news that we've covered in today's video i'll talk to you guys soon so peace out see you later and bye bye